Given the unprecedented media coverage about business rates over recent weeks, with acceptance from the Prime Minister that the tax requires reform, the Chancellor showed a spectacular lack of ambition in his spring budget. Whilst the extra 435 million he's found to assist pubs, micro-businesses and others facing huge increases in bills is welcome, you'll find details in our briefing, the longer term's systemic issues have once again been kicked into the long grass. He mentioned the disparity between the taxation of online and bricks and mortar retail, without offering even the hope of a solution, and repeated the commitment from Budget 2016 to revalue more frequently, but kicked the whole issue into the long grass by promising recommendations and consultation by, wait for it, by the next revaluation in 2022. Separate from the budget, DCLG announced its long-awaited response to last July's consultation on the appeals process, despite overwhelming objection to the proposal that in future assessments would not be reduced on appeal unless the original valuation could be shown to be outside the bounds of reasonable professional judgment, the government will be proceeding with this manifestly unjust approach albeit tinkering with the wording so that valuations will only be changed if they were unreasonable. Can you spot the difference? We'll keep on fighting for fairness. Our next approach will be to the Joint Committee on Statutory Instruments, as we doubt that the Minister has the power to introduce such a scheme. We've got more details in our accompanying briefing, including what we know about the process requirements for Check Challenge Appeal, in which ratepayers will have to participate actively, even if they've appointed Gerald Eve as their professional advisers. The government promised a taxation system fit for the 21st century, incorporating simplicity, transparency and responsiveness. Fake news, I'd say.